are in the year of walking with God. And we've seen God walking with us. Not because the other years God didn't walk with us. But God gave us this message. And what God desired. He said, I'm going to walk with you in an exceptional way. A mother and a son. Sometimes they don't have intimate time together. But this morning, a parent can say, I want to really have time with you. And we live in an exceptional manner. Jesus, this year wants to work with you in an intimate manner. This year, he wants to talk to you in an exceptional way. This year, he wants to reveal himself in an exceptional way. He wants to have fellowship with you at another level. Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now we are in the month of transformation. And we are seeing God doing wonderful things. Continue to tell God, may this month never live in the same way. May, do, may you do good to me because of your grace. I see your goodness. I see the grace that comes in the, in the, in the, in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, people had very major problems. Peter, people had major problems. For you to see God, you have to see God. For the sin to be removed and for you to offer sacrifice, there is a sacrifice you have to offer because of the sin. We see it in the Old Testament. We read it in Leviticus, Exodus, and uh, those are the laws that God had given Moses. There had to be a sacrifice for sin. It was very difficult. Kuko because the society had different categories of people. Just like how we are today. People had different levels of abilities. Some were very rich. Some were very poor. And some were mid. But everything was difficult. Because the sin you committed. It required it for you to get forgiven. You had to to offer certain sacrifices. The sacrifices that were offered, there were different animals, there were doves, there were goats, there were sheep, there were cows, many different things, even plants. It was so difficult for a person, the sin that you commit, you have to find the sacrifice that is equal to the sin. The, the, the priest could not pray for you without offering a sacrifice, without bringing a sacrifice for a sin to be removed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you feel that it was a very difficult something? But all that was an image. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the way he would sacrifice his life, and he offers the sacrifice forever. Amen. Amen. This is why in John, chapter 1, verse 12, all those who accepted and had faith in his name, he gave them ability to be children of God. Only having faith and to accept his name, it gives you ability to be a child of God. Hallelujah. 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 Faith. Just to have faith and say, I have faith in you. It makes you turn into a child of God. And then all the burden of all those sacrifices. All the burden leaves you. Today, who would we be for? 
Rwanda. Where would we belong? I don't even know if you know how the plant animals are very expensive. With the sins that we commit on a daily basis. Would we get any sacrifice to offer each day? But Jesus, because of his love, because of his much mercy, he did it without being filled with love. And he said, I'm going to offer myself so that my children can get eternal life. Let's for the King of Kings. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We shall always say this until the king returns. We shall talk about the power of the blood of Jesus. We shall talk about his goodness. We shall talk about his works. Amen. Amen. Yesterday we went into evangelism of one minute. I pray pleading brethren it's true every Christian who knows Jesus as their Lord and Savior you need to witness who you know. Yes, the Jesus that you know. Don't sit with Jesus. Don't just hold on to him. Because something that I saw yesterday in another image. People are so thirsty of the word of God. People need to hear the word of God. People are tired. And they don't know what can make them come out of the fatigue. But you're seated with him. You're seated with something that can relieve your neighbor. You're seated with something that can remove someone in that place. But we are keeping it to ourselves. Brethren. God gave us a lot of opportunity. There is opportunity a lot to witness. But Jesus is returning. And Jesus will ask you the talent that he gave you. He will ask you what you used it for. Hallelujah. Yes. Brethren, friend of the cross, start and witness Jesus you know. Very many people need the word of God. Very many people need to be delivered. Very many people need to receive Jesus. And you're the only one who has the answer to the world. Hallelujah. 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 Today we are going to see the word that says there is power in the Holy Communion. There is power. This communion that we take. The sharing that we take. There is power. Hallelujah. Amen. There is power. This is why we don't need to keep it ourselves. This is why we need to take it. This is why we need to change it to evangelism. So that those who are going to die, those who are going to be judged, those who are going to hell, can reduce. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus will not come down from heaven. And then he goes to he, you and me that know him that received him. We are the ones who have to become witnesses in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read the word of God quickly. Let's read John 6. John 6. John 6. We start from 53. We, we get to 57. John chapter 6. Those who have the Holy Bible, it's a hundred page. Kinyarwanda version. Yes. Dusome ijamburi imana tulasoma guhera kumurongo wa mirongu itano na gata tu. We are going to start from 53 to 53. Yes, alababu gira ti nukuri nukuri ndababu gira yuko. Ni mutarja umubiri umunga na umonu. Ni mungwe na marasoye na abu jingo mwa mufite murimu. Uri umubiri wanje akamwa marasoye anje. Aba fitu abu jingo buhora ho. Na anje nza amuzura kumusi wimeru uka. Kuko umubiri wanje ari ibyo kurya byukuri na maraso yanjye ari ibyo kunywa byukuri. Urya umubiri wanje akanywa maraso yanjye aguma muri nje nange nkaguma muri we. Nkuko data uhoraho 
yantumye nange nkaba ndiho kubwa data niko undya nawe azabaho kubwange amen amen mm. 53 so jesus yes. said again i tell you the truth unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood you cannot have eternal life within you but anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and will raise that person at the last day for my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and i in him i live because of the living father who sent me in the same way Anyone who feeds on me will live because of me. Amen. Amen. Let's clap. Let's clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu iki cyanditswa kivuga. When Jesus was writing this word. Abantu benshi baratangaye. Very many people got surprised. Ndetse and iyusomye iyusomye ku murongo wa 66 when you read 56 of this part haravuga ngo benshi mu bigishwa be bahera ubwo basubira inyuma barorera kugendana nawe. Anyone 56? 66. 66. Uh -huh. Okay, on this chapter 6, 66, it says, At this point, many of his disciples turned away and deserted him. Because the things he said were major. Maybe you also hear it and you feel it's very difficult. And you think it has no explanation. How can the bread become a body? How can juice turn into blood? And you can't touch it. You can't understand. But I want to tell you. That's where life is. That's where there's life in hope. That's where there is life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sacrifice of Jesus is measured upon our life. And there is nothing else that could help us to remove us in judgment apart from the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. This is why a Christian, brethren, that is saved, that is baptized in deep water, and you cannot touch the Holy Communion. There is a major problem. Hallelujah. 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 The word of God says many people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. My people, they are perishing. This is where you find, you find others, they don't take holy communion as they should. The word of God says something. It says you have judgment upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus says I'm the true bread. Anyone who eats me will never go hungry. And the one who drinks my blood they will never get thirsty anymore. And the Jews were so shocked. What did this person mean? Of just yesterday. I know the home. I know the parents. He says we eat him. We drink his blood. When it's not allowed to drink blood of anything. But Jesus knew what he was saying. He knew so well. His blood is something very familiar. The blood of Jesus is something that is very key. A worshiper sang and said, The blood of Jesus they will never, it will never be exhaust its power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, it will never exhaust its power. All other sacrifices are never having any power. Even those who use them, the power is finished. But the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, it will never lose its power. The blood of Jesus, they will never exhaust its power. The blood of Jesus, it never expires. Tell your neighbor, the blood of Jesus, it never gets expired. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But many Christians, they don't know the value of the blood of Jesus. Very many, the demons are above us. The demons defeat our life. But if there is something that the spiritual realm knew, it's the blood of Jesus. It's a person who has a sign of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, 
When the Israelites were leaving Egypt, the tenth plague that Jesus got caused of killing the firstborn child, he told the Israelites, and he told them, you go and slaughter a lamb very young. After take the blood, apply it on the door frames and write there, no, no. Thereafter, the, the angel who is coming to judge, he will not know you. It's the blood of Jesus. It's the blood. The Israelites were set apart. They were living in their own territory. And God told them, the, the angel will know you because of the blood. If you don't apply the blood, he will never know you. In other words, a Christian that knows Jesus, that doesn't have the sign of the blood, they will never know. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 They, they said, apply the blood of Jesus. Amen. And the Egyptians who got to know that secret and they had faith, and they applied it. The angel did not kill them because of the blood. The Israelites who didn't apply it, they died. Amen. Hallelujah. The blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This was an image of the blood of Jesus. This is an image of today. The sacrifice of Jesus. And the power that it has. And that sacrifice. It's forever. It's a, 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 a sacrifice that doesn't fade. No, it's exhaust its power. power. It's always giving us renewed hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is exceptional power. In the holy communion. There is exceptional power. In the blood of Jesus. There is exceptional power. In the things that we do. What it requires of you is to have faith and you give it its value. Amen. Amen. Barangije, barangije. After they applied the blood on their door frames, the angel came. The angel entered in the Egyptian houses. He killed everything that is a firstborn. He killed the firstborn children, animals of firstborn, first fruits, every first something because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you have the blood of Jesus upon you in the name of Jesus. The enemy will never see you. The enemy will never do bad to you. Because you have a sign of the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's go quickly. We are going to talk about four things. That is mighty that you cannot get elsewhere apart from Holy Communion. Maybe you knew. But I want to remind you so that you give value the sacrifice of Jesus so that you remember the power of Jesus Christ on the cross so that you remember what Jesus did on the cross hallelujah the first point the sacrifice of the blood the holy commandment is the only way that God will know us that's the sign that will make God know you. On 53, uh, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood, they have eternal life. I will also bring them to the. Uh, I will also resurrect them on the last day. Hallelujah. Amen. Gokuko umubiri wange aribyo kurya aribyo kurya byukuri. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Amen. Amen. God will know you. God will know you. That's the first point. God will know his people. He will come searching for the blood of Jesus. Even today that's how God gets to know us. God gets to know us through the blood of Jesus. When he's looking at you, he doesn't look at you. 
at me as Pastor Jean. Oh, yeah. No. When he looks at me, and he sees me in my and sin, and he sees me in my weakness, I cannot manage the judgment, but he sees me in the blood of Jesus. He sees me in the middle of the blood of Jesus. Yaragiza, Thereafter, he sees me as a righteous person. He sees me in the blood of Jesus. He sees in the mirror of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the only one that will make you for God to know us on the last day. Jesus, he will resurrect us. But he says here, those who eat my body and drink my blood, not to only eat the body, not to drink the blood alone, is to eat the body and you drink the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let's clap our King of Kings. Amen. 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 The second point that the blood of Jesus does upon our life or the sacrifice of the Holy Communion it washes sins on us. Our sins are erased. When you go to pray, don't pray in your own words. When you ask God to forgive you, ask the blood of Jesus to be upon your life. Ask for the mercy of the blood of Jesus upon your life. In 26, in this book of John, verse 28, verse 26, Chapter 26. Sorry, Johanna Wamber. First John. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amaraso ya Yesu. The blood of Jesus cleanses us. The blood of Jesus removes sin. All the dirt that was on us, we can remove it with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is so powerful upon our life. John, 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 Amen. John 21. John 21. Let's start from 22. Aravuga ngo Yesu arabasubiza ati. Yesu arabasubiza ati niba niba nshaka ko agumaho kugeza aho nzazira upfiki nkurikira nicyo cyatumye iryo jambo ryamamara muri bene data ngo uwo mwigishwa ntazapfa ariko Yesu nti ya nti ya Petero yuko atazapfa ahubwo yaramubwiye ati niba nshaka niba nshaka ko ugumaho kugeza aho nzazira upfiki uyu niwe wa mwigisha uhamya ibyo ni nawe wabyanditse kandi tuzi yuko ibyo ahamya ari byukuri ariko hariho nibindi byinshi Yesu yakoze ya byakwandikwa byose byakwandikwa byose ngira ngo ibitabo byakwandikwa nti byakwirwa mwisi amen amen haleluya amen haleluya amen yohana 21 jesus replied if i re want if i want him to remain alive until i return what is that to you as for you follow me so the rumor spread among the community of believers that is, this disciple wouldn't die but that, that isn't what Jesus said at all. He only said, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is it to you? This disciple is the one who testifies to these events and has recorded them here. 
And we know that this account of these things is accurate. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Peter had denied Jesus for a long time. He had gone far to Jesus. When you read from verse 15, Peter denied Jesus. He, he denied him three times. He denied him three times. Yes. Jesus, when he came to him and appeared, he reminded him three times. He said, Peter, you love me. God, you're the king, you know Peter. He made him repeat three Peter times. Peter did not have a confidence in the love. He didn't have confidence in the love of Jesus. Then he doubted another disciple. And he felt that the mercy realm was not there anymore. Then he started doubting Jesus. But Jesus told him, Jesus told him, Peter, Peter, Jesus told him, Peter Peter, my blood is sufficient. My mercy is sufficient. My beauty is sufficient. It was so difficult for Peter to understand. And to understand. Because there is so much argument in him. He was so scared and judgmental. He knew that nothing could take away the sin. He felt he had no mercy. However, Jesus said, don't worry. Don't worry. My blood has removed them. Hallelujah. Amen. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has removed all judgment upon you. Don't Bring that Don't bring the past back. You have the blood of Jesus upon your life. You have the sign of the blood of Jesus. You have a sign of the blood of Jesus. You took holy communion. Yes, Jesus knows you. Jesus knows you. Tell the devil, Jesus knows me. Tell the devil, I'm coming. Jesus knows me. Yes, Jesus knows me. Amen. Hallelujah. I cannot continue behaving like a foreigner. When Jesus knows me. Amen. Amen. Tell, tell the devil that Jesus knows me because of the covenant we have Let him know why you know your identity. Because of the covenant yes, I have. Jesus knows me. Jesus will know me. Jesus will not let go. Let's clap for the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The blood of Jesus is something mighty. The blood of Jesus is something exceptional. The blood of Jesus. We shall continue talking about it. The blood of Jesus. We shall use the blood of Jesus. The, the sacrifice to of Jesus on the cross. We shall talk about it. The world is not happy. The world people are not happy. That's why they're scared. So that we don't waste it. Because they know the power in the sacrifice of Jesus. But we shall not stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. The third point. Heals sicknesses. It heals our sicknesses. Tell your neighbor. That disease will not kill you. There is a sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. There is a price paid by the blood Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Before you take the child to hospital, or before you go to hospital, first pray and bring down the blood of Jesus. Have faith. I'm not telling you not to go to the hospital. Don't hear me badly. Don't say what I didn't say. But the blood of Jesus. It heals diseases. Amen. Amen. When Jesus' breath was taken on the cross, a soldier came and 
pierced him in the chest. After I did that, his, his chest, blood and water came out. When someone dies, the blood has stopped. But water and blood came out. When people were dying and they are still on the cross, they broke their legs. They came to break Jesus' legs. Because they wrote, on, they wrote earlier that they no bone would be broken. When they went to break his bone, they found his breath had gone. But that soldier, because he was so annoying, he felt so bad that he had not broken his legs. Because he couldn't break a corpse's leg. Then he put his spear. He hit his spear with a spear in the then blood and water came out. That blood and water fell on the eyes of the soldier. He had a problem of not seeing. Then the eye opened. You have the mass in the blood of Jesus. You have the grace in the blood. You have the love in the blood. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Then his eyes opened. And he had come to do bad. In the blood of Jesus, we are healed of disease. In the blood of Jesus, that's why we are rescued. The fourth point, the blood of Jesus, we get eternal life. Amen. Amen. Eternal life. Amen. Amen. Eternal life. Johanna, Let's go back to John, chapter 6, verse 36. John 6. Kumurongo wa, wa, wa minontana na kani. 54. Ngo urja, urja umubiri wanji. Mwana maraso yanji. Ama fitu uji ngo uhora hu. Nanyi nza mozura kumusi wimeruka. But anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I'll raise that person at the last day. Tell your friend that Jesus will resurrect you on the last day. The second death will do nothing to you. And you will rise to see the blessings of God because you gave value to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Jesus he will give eternal life. Jesus he will not allow you to die. Everyone who died in Jesus Christ until Jesus comes back he will know them because of his sacrifice he will know them because of the communion he will know them they gave value to his blood let the king of kings get to know in the name of Jesus let you enter eternal life in the name of Jesus let the mass of God be upon you Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah. Yes, as a to menya. Yes, as a to menya. Yes, as a to stovano. Yes, as a to understand. And we shall see. We shall see. Jesus. Ama soya chungwa zamureva. Our eyes will see. Ama soya chazamubona. Our eyes will see. Jesus. Ama woko ya chazamukora. Our hands will touch him. To zamu ishimira. We shall be happy. To muyambire. We shall hug him. Kandi natwe. And us. To zavatwa humutamaso. Our eyes will be open. Our ears will hear well. To zahita to menya. We shall understand. To menya. We shall understand. Christo yesu muburjo bugimbi. Christ. Jesus in a deep manner. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I desire to be in that time in the name of Jesus. I desire to be in that time in the name of Jesus. Now the conclusion of my, my my advice. My advice is one, starting now, give value the sacrifice of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Utangiri. Start. If you took it normal, start to hear it as life. Know that it changed your life. And it's ready to change your life. And it's ready to change your life. Hallelujah. Amen. The second advice. Apply the blood of Jesus. 
Apply the blood of Jesus. Use it. We use the blood of Jesus. It's a sign of, of walking in the spiritual realm. In your praying Christian, in your prayers, the blood of Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus. In your sickness, call the blood of Jesus. In your battle, call the blood of Jesus. In your problems, call the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus the only thing that God can see us in. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Tell your neighbor, love the blood. Love the blood. The blood of Jesus still has power until now. Still has power until now. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The last point, the last one, have hope in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Have hope. Have hope again, brethren. Don't fight for yourself. Don't have battles in you, many brethren. Have hope in Jesus Christ. Remove hope in people. Remove hope in families. Remove hope in your life. Remove hope in your wealth. In your wealth. Pour, uh, put your hope in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hope is different from faith. How is it different? When you have faith, it's too small compared to hope. But hope, it's too small. Without you, I can't live. Amen. Amen. This, is, this is why when you have confidence in people, don't hope in people. All our hope has to be in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. When you apply your hope in people, you bring problems with, to that person. I have faith in this person. They are going to do it good. I have faith in my parents. They can do this and this and this. And my, this. my relative, my friend, my spouse. And they are able to do this. Don't have Put your hope in Nuvuge that person. Ngo, Don't say that without this person, I can't jichibi, Without supporting this country, just know that you've removed your hope in God. You've applied your hope to people. Don't remove your hope on Jesus. Uti, Don't remove your hope on the king. Don't remove your hope from the king. Kuko niwe we njine. Because he's the only one. Uba, that can do what children of men can do. The things we've seen the power that we see in the Holy Communion on the blood of Jesus there is no one else who can do it no one else is there anyone who says I've forgiven is there anyone who can give eternal life is there anything that can give it to you put your hope in Jesus Christ put your hope in Jesus Christ remove your hope in people remove your eyes on people remove your mind on people apply it on Jesus Christ bless it in Jesus Christ Jesus is coming to reveal himself in a new way Jesus is coming to reveal himself to talk to you. Yes, Jesus is coming to dress you with power. Jesus is coming to take you to another level. Jesus is coming to do the difficult things in your life. Jesus is coming to do things that are difficult in your family. Jesus is coming. And he'll take you where you never had gone. Let's clap for the King of Kings. May Jesus bless you. May Jesus do good to you. Let's stand up. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Tell God. I'm before you. I'm humbled in my heart. I plead with you, Jesus. I plead with you so that you explain to me in depth the 
Give me power to give value. The sacrifice of the cross. Give me power of the blood of Jesus. Jesus. To give value, power, so that I understand. When you start understanding, your hope will raise in Christ Jesus. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. We pray right now. We pray right now. We pray right now. So that our King, you give us hope. Very many people are weak. Very many people had lost their hope. Very many people had no direction. Very many people did not know But we gave yourself on the cross so that we can get direction. So that our eyes can open. So that we can enter. So that we can wear in an exceptional way. Lord, we plead with you. Your people. We are before you. We plead with you so that you give us strength to, to understand, to give value the blood of Jesus, to give value the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. Give us strength. Give us to understand the value of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now pray again. God, give me power to, apply, to use the blood in of Jesus in my daily life. Learn to use the blood of Jesus. Learn to apply the blood of Jesus while you pray. Learn to use the blood of Jesus. You are going to see transformation in your life. Ask Jesus and ask, enable me to pray. Enable me to use the blood of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Our Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. We are pleading in your name. 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 So that your name be honored. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. We clap for you. We raise our hands to you. We lift our hands to you. We praise 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 you. We